Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be reviewing another book. And the book that I'm going to be reviewing today is Cinder. Woo! I loved this book. It was so good. It had me gripped from the first moment. And let me tell you why. I love books that are exciting and that I have no idea what's going to happen. But this was a Cinderella retelling. How could that grip me? I have read so many Cinderella stories. How could that be exciting and gripping? It was. It was completely different than most of the other stories I've read with Cinderella. This is about a cyborg. <laughs> yeah, part human, part robot. She is from like an alternate earth. So it's definitely something in the future, something that we're not used to. But humans and androids and cyborgs all live together. Only cyborgs, they're not like first class society, right? And she is a cyborg. So her story is an exciting one. You'll have to read it to find out what exactly her circumstances are. But I love how real this character is. I also love that this book did not have any swearing. It did not have a whole lot of violence. I mean, no gore, nothing that would make you not want to let your kids read this book. And, or make you not want to read it yourself. And it didn't have any sex. Saying that, though, it did have romance, a lot of romance. There's the prince. Yeah, there's going to be a little bit of romance, but it was the perfect amount. Like I said, it had me at the first line. I loved it. Um, let me tell you what some of the rankings are. Um, so this book is number one in fairy tale adaptations for children on Amazon. That is a really, really good ranking and a hard one to get. So you know that this best-selling author, Marissa Myers, has done a great job on this Lunar Chronicles series with Cinder being the first book. Also, it's number 18 in teen and young adult fairy tale and folklore adaptations. And it's number 86 in fantasy for teens. So it really is doing well. I wanted to read the... Um, synopsis of this book. A deadly plague ravages the population. From space, a ruthless lunar people watch, waiting to make their move. No one knows that Earth's fate hinges on one girl. Cinder, a gifted mechanic, is a cyborg. She's a second-class citizen with a mysterious past, reviled by her stepmother and blamed for her stepsister's illness. But when her life becomes suddenly intertwined with the handsome Prince Kai, she suddenly finds herself at the center of an intergalactic struggle and a forbidden attraction. Caught between duty and freedom, loyalty and betrayal. She must uncover secrets about her past in order to protect her world's future. So that is a great synopsis of this book. And then I just wanted to read a couple of these reviews on Amazon. So uh, Cartoon 12 tells us um, that she's slowly been making her way through a list that a librarian friend gave her and that this was one of the first on the list. And after reading the first book, Cinder, she can't wait to read the rest of the Lunar Chronicles series. Um, she summarizes the book by saying this, Taking place on a far-flung future Earth, a world in which humans, cyborgs, and androids live alongside each other, um, Cinder is a bright and talented teenage mechanic, but due to her status as a cyborg, which marks her as a second-class citizen, she is um, has to live under the oppressive thumb of her stepmother and her stepsisters. The one is nicer than the other. Um, she, there's that disease that's going around, ravaging everybody, um, and she finds out something about it. I don't really want to tell you because I want you to read the book, but she finds out something about her and the disease and about the intergalactic struggle that she's going through that you're not going to want to miss. I highly recommend this book. 
If you want spoilers, go to Amazon, go to Goodreads. You can find out all the information that you want for whatever you're looking for. But I suggest you read it instead. I think I read it in a day and a half. I couldn't put it down. That's how good it was. So check out Cinder. Um, I read it on da, 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 Kindle Unlimited, but uh, this is my paper white. I love it. Um, but you could read it um, just on Kindle. You can read it on your iPad. You can read it on your laptop. And then you can also get the physical book. Sometimes you just want the physical book and that's awesome. So you can just grab it that way. Anyway, um, check out down below. I'm going to have a link to a list. So I want to um, offer a list myself to all of my readers of books that don't have swearing, don't have violence, don't have sex scenes that are inappropriate for the family. These are family friendly books and ones that you could all read together. These are the kind of books I like and I hope you like them too. Have a good day. Bye guys.